Um, we're quite bullish about the Australian economy. Uh, we've got a very robust economy, which I think when you look at the global challenges, uh, the likelihood of us um, actually coming out of this in good shape is, is quite high. Uh, there's very high household savings. Um, and although there's pressures on, on house prices, we've got very low unemployment. And this is on the backdrop where house prices have actually increased by 39% over the last two years. Now, the topic du jour, I suppose, amongst bankers right now, considering what Matt Common was suggesting, is that loan arrears is yet again an issue. Are you relatively well exposed to any kind of, I suppose, impact that we are seeing from this high rate environment on your own loan book? Yeah, well, we've been there quite specific in terms of how we've grown over the last two years to make sure that our loan to value ratios have been reduced. So we've done very, only about 1% above 90% loan to value ratio, in fact, decreased the above 80. But more importantly, we've got about 53% of our customers um, are one or more years ahead on repayment. So they've got really good buffers. And there's also real, real equity in terms of their houses as well. Right. Uh, Josh, how are you mapping uh, the macro environment and the fact that the RBA uh, fell short of expectations the last time around, 25 basis points uh, announcement of, of rate hikes? Look, I, th I think if you look at the fact that the RBA has kind of reduced the amount it's increasing, shows the confidence that we, we, we are likely to be getting inflation under control. It's running currently at about 6%. The view is that it might peak at 775 the RBA has moved fairly quickly to deal with inflation, which I think is a good thing. And that's why I think there's a good chance that we'll have a soft landing in Australia. Right, but, but you know, there's a faction of the market that believes that this might be a policy error, that this might be too soon to pause. My sense is um, because they've moved fairly quickly um, and, you know, I think it does make sense to actually pause a little bit and, and just take smaller steps with the 25 basis points. And you've got to recall that the RBA can actually move the rate each month. So they do have increased flexibility in terms of changing that. My view is that they've probably done, you know, they'll continue um, increasing steadily this year and then probably pause early next year to see the impact of, of those rate increases. Now, John